Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Citrix Certification Video Training and this is the seventh video in this series. So in this video I am going to focus on installing updates on Zen server or also you can say patching uh, passing the Zen server. So so uh, as you can see in my first screen sort here which is attached to the slide we we have few updates available for our Zen Server 1 and Zen Server 2 which we have installed in last few videos so 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 basically Citrix release uh, their updates for Zen servers in uh, uh, on the basis of time time to time to make the product uh, more secure and more reliable and more and uh, for the performance basis so if you go on next slide what we have let's have some idea about my demo environment so we are using the f uh, same for virtual machine which we are using since uh, our last few videos so the first machine is win2k12 dc01 which is my active directory server here you can see my active directory server i have installed active directory and dns role on this server also you can see the dhcp role is installed on this machine if you go here you can see the computer name my domain name and ip address and basic configurations and my second machine is Citrix DC01 which is basically Citrix delivery controller I have installed Citrix delivery controller on, on this machine and all the core components if you go here on all program you can see the store font, Citrix studio director and Citrix Cent Zen center we have so and another we have Zen server 1 and Zen server 2 which is running the basically you can say the Zen server 7.0 7.1 version and we have here you can see second one is also Zen server 7.1 so before doing any update on any patch on your Zen server you have to make sure your the virtual machine which is running on Zen server they must be migrated to another host and uh, because during the during the uh, patching the Zen server which you are, are trying to update will go in uh, like a maintenance mode so we have to take care about the virtual machines and the, all the pro all the things which is running on the Zen server so so I'm going to give you the simple uh, simple uh, example to update the Zen server I have installed here you can see the Citrix Zen Center if you double click in the last video we have installed the Citrix uh, a Zen Center to basically this is a GUI tool to manage the Zen server so we have here you can see uh, we have added two Zen server 1 and Zen server 2 in our last video so I'm going to right click on it and just click on connect and now you can see it's asking for user account and password so I'm going to put here my credential it's attempting to so now you can see it's connected with the Zen server 1 and same I'm going to connect with my Zen server 2 so put the credential here enter so now I'm connected with the, my both the Zen server 1 and Zen server 2 and to verify the updates if you go here uh, at the bottom we have notification area if you click on here on updates you can see all the available updates and the server or pool which we having for uh, which is recommended for update so new updates available if you expand you can see the publicly available fix for Xan and here you can see the size and all the details which is available so we have security fix and this is fixed to tool stack and fixed to storage and fixed to Zen Center. So we have we have all details here. Like if you want to go to uh, install any update, you just go here and you can see the server and pool. So we have Zen Server 1, Zen Server 2, and also you can verify the date on which the this up update is basically released so if you go here and you can see here we uh, we have a number for like updates you can see zen server 71e001 so i'm going to install the first one which is my basically march 20 so let's do this first so here we have option to dismiss download and install and go go to the web page so I'm going to install download and install so make sure when you are downloading this Zen or uh, updates from Zen Center 
your Zen Center server is must be connected with the internet so if you go here you can see I'm connected with internet here I'll just for example let me show you like you can see I have connected with internet IPv4 so make sure you have internet connectivity uh, connectivity from your Zen Center server uh, so it does not need you require internet connection on your Zen servers basically Zen server 1 Zen server 2 so let's go and click download and install so now you can see the you can select the uh, the servers on which you want to install this patch or update if you don't want just go ahead clear the server so I want to uh, update on both the servers so click next and now we ha you can see download and extract so you can see here it's downloading the update so it will download the update from Citrix website the download center so downloading maybe can take some time so we have to wait for till the download is completed so the download size you can see here it's 54.9 MB so now you can see the downloading is started we have here the uh, the things you can verify how much data is downloaded so downloading is uh, some some sl something slow on while you are downloading from update from system gen server so if you go here you can see i have proper internet connectivity like 50 mbps per second but i am getting very slow speed here so just wait for downloading to be completed then we will do the pre-checks and all so I'm pausing the recording here once the downloading is completed for this patch will start from uh, there so pausing the recording here so now you can see almost 10 MB left to download so it will take few more minutes to download the complete setup So now you can see downloading is completed and it's uploading the installation file, the downloaded file to our Zen server 1 and 2. So you can see here file uploaded to local storage on Zen server 1 and Zen server 2 is done. And now we can go ahead and click next. And now it will check the pre request. So we have a host license OK, checking HA or load balancing is OK, and storage connections OK and checking reboot required is okay so ev everything is looks good then we can go ahead and click next and here you can see and we have two options here so we have option to uh, automate the uh, post installation task or uh, if you want to carry out by yourself then we have option basically what is post installation task here post update after installing the update might be computer uh, might be your Zen server required a reboot to uh, get the fix of uh, for the update like if we are installing the Zen server for like you can say for Zen server fix this is Zen server fix so it's recommended to restart your host after installing the update so I'm going to check out the, the allow Zen, Zen Center to carry out the post installation so it will uh, during this activity it will automatically install on Zen servers available Zen server and it will migrate the virtual machines from Zen server to another Zen server and then it will reboot your machines and after rebooting it will uh, like put the machine in maintenance mode and install the Zen server as a patch and then it will uh, reboot and it will come back the Zen server then it will start the same process for next Zen server so now you can see the here solving update on one is done and now on two also done so we have successfully installed so there was no need of like uh, installing the re reboot is required so everything good looks good look okay so now it's you can see it's done and if you 
if you see some some package required a reboot so let's install another package so both gen servers download the updates and same way we have to follow the same process to install all the Zen server updates so let's do this and we we check if the reboot is required so might be this possibly uh, possibilities is uh, for rebooting this server by this updating this patch so we'll wait for it and we'll see if Zen server require reboot so downloading is completed and now copying the file to local storage one and two so it's done click next and pre-request check it's checking the server side status so you can see here Zen server 1 this server need to be reboot after the update applied so both the servers require reboot so so now we are able to know the uh, this patch which we are going to install require a reboot so let's do this and we have allow vcenter allow zen center to carry out the post installation and install update you okay, can you can see it's installing update on zen 1 now you can see migrate vms of zen server 1 done so currently we don't have any vms running on zen server 1 and now you can see rebooting zen server so it's rebooting the zen server 1 if you go here you can see the reboot has been initiated and our zen server is getting restarted loading so after once the is zen server is rebooted and it's start replying to uh, Zen Center, then then it it uh, do the pro same process for our Zen Server too. So just wait for a few seconds to get the reply from Zen Server One. So it's uh, still loading. So now you can see the machine is booted, and if you go here, it will take some time to reflect here. Now you can see reboot is for done and exiting the server is zen server 01 from maintenance mode is also done and now it's installing the patch on zen server 2 and migrating the machines and now it's rebooting zen server 2 if you go here you can see the machine is machine will reboot in few seconds so it's rebooting now So now you can see the lost connection to Zen Server 2 because the machine is getting restarted. So it will try the next reconnection, reconnectivity in 120 seconds. So its machine is now rebooted. and it will take some time to respond to our Zen Center so now you can see reverting result patch done so everything looks good update was successfully installed so now you can see we have installed basically two updates now and we have here total three updates pending so so this is all about uh, installing the patch up or updates on Zen server so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye